I gotta go, I gotta go. Yes! Yes! Yeah! Alright, so look, as someone who has an IQ of 50, okay, which is a lot, because I took a test and it said I, in a room of a thousand people, I'd be smarter than 10 of them, okay, so I'm in the top 10%, basically. I have a concept that you might not understand, and it's the concept of difficulty systems being interesting, okay? Like, obviously, everyone knows, like, oh yeah, difficulty system is, like, you know, easy, medium, hard, whatever, right? There are tiers to difficulty systems, okay? I, this is something that nobody talks about, like, this is, this is, like, Matrix-level conspiracy stuff, so bear with me right now, okay? Basically, a lot of games have difficulty systems as a mere afterthought. Uh, specifically, I think like something like Subnautica personally comes to mind. Uh, I and I love Subnautica, right? No, no, no critique to the entire game and Minecraft as well, right? A lot of these systems feel more as like they were just added because like some Twitter user was like, oh, the game is too hard. Uh, if only the zombie could deal 10% less damage. And then the developers were like, wow, I have just a thing for you. And then they make a difficulty which makes everyone deal 10% less damage. You know what I mean? Like, it's all just a thing which just like they add as an afterthought, right? There's no actual like effort put into any of this. And in fact, in the case of Minecraft, actually, I'm pretty sure that the hard difficulty is actually easier because like it does something to like the villagers. Like, I'm pretty sure it gives them 100% chance to be turned into zombies when they die to one. And then when you cure one, it gives you like amazing sales and everything, right? So like it, it, the game literally is easier with a harder difficulty. Now, you know, some games obviously, you know, actually prioritize difficulties a little more. So to me, like the forest comes to mind. Maybe I'm just a newbie. Maybe I'm just a beginner. I, I don't even know if the forest has a difficulty system. That might have been like a mod I installed. But to me, like, you know, playing the game on easy compared to hard is such a difference. The people that like run around with spears and like try and stab me, bro, they are so much scarier on hard mode. I don't know if it's just like the placebo effect running its course or something. But bro, like playing the forest for the first time gave me a bit of hope for, you know, <laughs> difficulty systems. What about a difficulty system that actually prioritizes giving you a new experience, right? What about a difficulty system that doesn't just exist there to cater to some weak guy on Twitter who doesn't even, like, who can't play the game, right? And instead have it catered to those dedicated to the game who want to challenge themselves, right? And who just want, like, more kind of content out of the game in general. I'm not saying that, you know, a game should have a difficulty system where, like, if you pick hard over easy, it starts downloading an extra, like, 50 terabytes worth of content. But what I'm saying is like a difficulty system that actually tweaks the right things to give you an actual like drastically different playstyle. That's what I want. Okay, and no, no more like, oh, zombie deals 10% more damage. BS. We, we don't want that. Okay, we want good difficulty systems. And this is where my uh, one of my recent videos came in where I made a system where you just play as like this optical illusion. I turn a character into a drawing and he like moves at, you know, 10 frames per second. And it's really funny. But then while making the video, I was thinking, right, could I use the same thing? Thing to basically like make my entire game laggy on purpose. Now, before we actually answer that question, I need to make an obby because like, okay, like I don't want, you know, these characters to just be like running around and doing nothing. Okay. I want an actual objective, right? So we can have this part here, you know, I can like, you know, scale it. We can have the spawn location and everything. So we can just take all of this, right? And then I'll just, I guess I'll be back once the amazing obby is done and we are done. Okay. That took a lot of effort. You know, I'm, I'm glad you stuck with me all this time, but we have our finished obby. And if I play this, let's see, is it hard? It's probably not. Again, I IQ of 50, right? So that's crazy. Okay, so now you might be asking, right? How does this system that you're talking about even work, right? Like, what does it do? Okay, so what I'll do is I'll make a screen GUI, okay? And inside of the screen GUI, I'm going to add a viewport frame. Now, in case you don't know what a viewport frame is, bro, don't worry, neither do I. I mean, like, I know what it is. It's like a frame where, like, it does something or whatever. It's it's weird, right? That, that's like a bunch of nerdy stuff. So in this viewport frame, okay, I'm going to add a local script, like so, and then I'll make a variable for it. So local view is equal to script.parent. Basically, in short, we're going to make a loop, task Start wait it's going to update every 0.1 seconds let's say the way this is going to work is that at the start of every single loop we're going to loop uh, ironically enough through our viewport okay so we're going to get the children right so we're going to go through every single thing that's inside of the viewport and we we want to make sure that we don't actually loop through our script right so the idea here is that we're going to loop through everything and delete it unless it's the local script because i don't want to delete the script right so we can just say if v um is a local script then we're just going to continue end continue means we're going to move on to the next item right but then if it's not a local script then we just say v 
destroy like so. Now the first thing we need to do is actually make a camera. Okay, so local cam is equal to instance dot new camera, and then we can just parent it to the viewport frame just right off the bat. Yeah, I know the meme. LeBron is using the second parameter of new whatever. I don't care. We're gonna set the cameras a C frame, which is its position and orientation, equal to our current cameras position and orientation so wherever the player is actually looking that's where this camera is also going to be looking and the last thing is we just need to say view dot current camera is equal to camera and then what we do is we just do another loop right but this time inside of the workspace so we just loop through get not children descendants descendants gets everything right children just gets the um the first like line of what's inside but descendants also gets the items that are inside of the children and then the items that are inside of the descent like you know all that stuff it just gets everything basically and so we can just say if v um, is a base part and not uh, v is a terrain because for some reason like i, I did one in my last video i tried just looking for base parts and it gave me an error because it tried getting the terrain as well for some reason so roblox thinks that terrain is a base part so we gotta do this clarification because roblox is stupid we just say v clone so we're gonna clone v and then just right off the bat we're gonna parent it inside of the viewport so i know that was insanely confusing but if i play this game right now what's gonna happen is we're gonna get something like this there we go. Don't worry, this isn't my computer lagging. This is the viewport's job. Everything that you're seeing here is just user interface. So none of this actually technically exists. Everything that you're seeing right now is done thanks to viewport frames. All of this is just to the object, basically. And so now what I'm thinking, right, is we probably want uh, three of these frames for each difficulty. So I can say this one is easy. I can say this one is mid, I don't know, and then I can say this one is hard, okay? Now, because we actually want them to have different difficulties, uh, this one can have task.weight of just nothing, so it's going to update as fast as it possibly can. We can keep, keep mid probably around the same, maybe give it a 0 0.2, and then for hard, I'll just bump it up to one second, okay? Sure. And what we got to do right now is just take all of these and ensure that they are not visible so at the start i don't want any of these to actually be visible and then what i'll do is i'll just add another frame inside of this screen gui but this frame what it's going to do is it's basically going to be responsible for actually like allowing us to select um like the difficulty right so i'm just going to quickly work on that all right so i just finished the gui and i actually got an error while making the GUI. I didn't play the game, I just got an error because I misspelled something. So, you know, if, if you're thinking of, you know, buying my course or doing my one-on-one -on -one coaching calls because I'm so amazing, you know, <laughs> this, is, this is proof of my ability, bro. But okay, jokes aside, but I've actually scripted basically everything right now. I just made a quick script inside of this frame. Uh, I didn't want to go over all of this because it's just word salad, really. But all I'm really doing here is I'm just going through this folder, which has all of these buttons. And then the moment that a button actually gets pressed, it just gets the name of the button and then it, you know, go loops through uh, these four things. Anything that doesn't share the name of the button, it basically gets invisible. And honestly, I think that's about it. Yeah, so let's actually just try and play the game right now. Oh, look at that. Okay, nice. Easy, medium, hard. Let's do easy first, okay? Visible is not a valid member of screen view. What does this, what? Okay, I may have done something wrong here. I may have added an extra parent, right? My, my bad, guys. But okay, if we try this again, right? Let's see. There we go. Look at that. Okay, okay. Solid, solid, solid. One quick thing that I'm actually thinking of is uh, I probably want like an actual dev system in the game, right? I, it's not going to be anything, you know, special, but maybe we can just do something where like whenever the player touches a base plate, so we can just say like, you know, scripts.parents.touched, not transparency. Connect function, so we get the hit, right? And then we just say if hits, uh, dot parent find first child humanoid, then, right, we just say hits.parents dot humanoid dot health is equal to zero so basically this checks if uh, the hit is actually like part of a player and then if it is it just sets the player's health to be equal to zero so let's try that does it actually work if i die if i die right now and there we go beautiful medium nice okay and the final one hard Oh, that's crazy. Okay. <laughs> I think actually a fun thing. What if we just take this script that it's that's inside the base plate and we just put it inside of the ending part as well. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So easy is beatable. Beautiful. There we go. Yeah. There goes our character. Medium. Okay. Look, we just have to detect whenever it updates. Okay. So, okay. Two. Okay. Three. Say less. Four. Okay. If I, if I do this right now, you got to go buy my course, bro. 
and like the video i i think i don't know not buy my course i don't know i don't know what i'm saying i'm tired <laughs> there we go okay look medium beats okay look medium was easy if i beat this hard level okay actually as i said this in my previous video if that video gets 10k likes right i'm actually going to basically release a game that has all of these like cool optical illusions with you know like the viewports and frame rates and all of that and i'm going to make it basically like a multiplayer puzzle game right so if both this video and my previous video get like 10k likes or more and also you know subscribe while you're at it i'm going to release the game i'm going to you know announce it on the server i'm going to announce it on the channel so you know if that is something that you would be interested in you know let's get the video to 9k likes or not what did i say 10k 11k like i said bro iq of 50 i i have too much in my head to keep track of every single second right we just have to detect like when it actually updates tun 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 okay okay jump tun 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 jump tun tun oh tun 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 i'm going all based on my own like i gotta go i gotta go yes 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 but yeah so you know I, again i'll do a final plug um if you're a beginner developer or you know you're looking to start scripting i have a course and i have a one-on-one -on -one coaching call as well in the description so you could go check those out if uh, they sound interesting to you join the discord like and subscribe Ugh, i'm like becoming one of those like modern youtubers you know hit the bell guys i saw this meme the other day which was like some guy was like why do i exist and then the guy replied to like and hit that bell which resonated with me heavily okay so if you're ever wondering about the meaning of your existence, it's to subscribe and hit that bell on this channel, okay? But as always, we're back to basics. Thank you for watching.